Mmm. I'm still eating these things. <laughs> so I've got a whole bag and whatever's left in that. Mmm. Good taco, mate. Good taco. Well, it's really late at night. Uh, I, I made like a really bad error yesterday. <laughs> I must have been so jet lagged. I had a nightmare. I went to bed at like 8 o'clock last night. I was really tired. And I woke up at 9.30 after having a nightmare. And my nightmare was I was resuscitating two people that were frothing at the mouth and everything. So I resuscitated them, brought them back to life, thought I'd done a great deed. And then someone jumps out and goes, Hey, congratulations! They were only pretending to be uh, dying of whatever. And you saved their life. And I was so pissed off that I just saved two people's lives, but it was only a, a joke, that I woke myself up. Oh, it was a weird, weird nightmare. But uh, you know what I put it down to? The sausages, mashed potato and broccoli I had for dinner. It must have been those sausages. Processed meat. Because I hadn't had like any processed food for a week. So I come back, have some processed food, boof, nightmare. You see? You see what food, how food can affect you? Didn't have any problems in uh, Singapore. No, none at all. Didn't have any problems in a first world country, Singapore. But as soon as I come back to the second world, here, problems. You see? <laughs> Someone got so pissed off the other day when I... I was saying how good Singapore was, and and um, I was ragging a bit on Australia. <laughs> well, mate, you know, you just got to tell the truth. I just tell the truth. If you don't like the truth, then don't subscribe to me, because obviously you can't handle the truth. <laughs> mm -mm. Anyway, I woke up from this nightmare. <laughs> And I, I thought, oh, okay, I'll look at my phone. The thing I was supposed to go to on Friday, the YouTube thing, was actually today on Thursday. So luckily, I'd woken up and looked at my phone and seen an email saying, this is your schedule for tomorrow, which was today. So, I mean, how bad would that have been if I'd rocked up there on Friday and it was actually... <laughs> the day before. <laughs> oh, God, how lucky was it that I had that nightmare? You see? Everything is for a reason. That crappy Australian processed meat saved my life. It's just the way life works. Mmm, mmm, these are good. Now, uh, so today I went up to Brisbane. Had to cancel my... Um, bushwalking and all those other things. Go up to Brisbane and meet with all these producers for this thing. And I've got a one in seven chance of of like getting some stuff done, like some really cool stuff. So fingers crossed. Um, yeah, and then I came back home, got home about six o'clock tonight. Yeah, my mate called and said, oh, we're going out to dinner. Uh, this pizza place. Ugly Max's or ugly someone's pizza. So I said, yeah, yeah no worries. So then I, go, I came, put my shoes back on and went and had pizza with um, my friend Greg and this girl that he's brought out from America to go travelling with. And my mate Mick and his wife and his two kids and then we thought, oh, well, while we're at Burley Heads, let's go up to uh, the National Park and see if we can see if we can go and spot some fireflies. Or well, glow worms, I think they are up there. So we're walking up there. We're scaring this American bird. She's walking through the bush, Australian bush, in the, at night time. And every rustle, she was like, ah, what's up? So we were like throwing sticks in the bush. <laughs> so she'd be going, ah! screaming so that was a bit of fun but we didn't see any glowworms 
but we went to a look out and overlooked service paradise and everything at night time. It was very pretty. And then on the way back, I decided to, uh, I downloaded Pokemon Go in, um, in wherever I was, Singapore. But because I didn't have the Wi-Fi, I couldn't use it. So I pulled the phone out and I started playing Pokemon Go with uh, one of my mate's kids because he's right fully into it. And I caught like eight Pokemons. He's going, man, this is the best Pokemon night I've ever had. I was here once before, played for four hours, but it was still not as good as this. We were only playing for like 20 minutes. I caught so many Pokemons. So now I am the king of Pokemon. Well, I'll call myself that. I'm not really. I'm still not into it. But, uh, yeah, I caught some um, really good ones. He said they were really good. Not that I know what a really good Pokemon is, but apparently I caught some. So I was very, um, very happy with that. And, yeah, and then I just came back and I was lying on the couch going, oh, God, I'm so tired. I've still got a little bit of jet lag. and I'm just tired. And it's 11 o'clock at night time. And I thought, oh, I should make a video. Better make one for all my hundreds of people that's, that just love to hear me talk crap. So here you go. Here's your video. It's been going for six and a half minutes. God bless you all. I've got it on my big proper computer here now. I had to move it over, put it on a little desk. Uh, so you, hopefully it won't bounce off this back wall and make a bad echoing noise. I'm sort of hoping it doesn't or I've just wasted all this six minutes fifty of just talking. So anyway, that was my day today. I don't find out what uh, happened today with the producer thing for months because it's through the Queensland government and you know what the governments are like. Hopeless. Oh, I just received a new message. That's what that noise is. A message from um, from um, someone. Hmm, I wonder who. <laughs> oh, cake. Mm, yum. Ma Matchster and espresso. Mm, nice. Uh, so anyway, yep, that's it. Here's your video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, tomorrow I'm supposed to be going surfing and. Then uh, my friends, uh, my problem with this friend of mine from America, he just loves wasting money. Let's go and eat out every night. I'm like, dude, I've got like dinners in the fridge that I pre-made and I've got like three of them sitting there Otherwise, and I need to eat them or they'll just go to waste and I might as well have just throw on $10 down the toilet. Man, I'm only here for a short time. We're going to go out and spend $50 for dinner and drinks every single night while I'm here. I'm like, dude, I haven't got 50 bucks just to waste on going out to dinners when I can make a dinner just as good for $4 at home. That's why I hate people who eat out all the time. And Australia is so expensive for eating out. It's unbelievable. So I said, look, I'm not going for dinner. Oh, okay, well, just go up the Q1 for drinks tomorrow night. And I'm thinking... Mate, it costs like 15 bucks just to catch the elevator up to the top so I can drink $10 beers. I can buy. I just bought a carton of beer for $28 for 30 cans. So why don't you just come over to my place instead of wasting, you know, $100 just to have a beer up high so you can overlook some city. I don't care about seeing views. I'm just a grumpy old bastard. That's all I am. I'm just grumpy. But that's the way I am, and that's the guy you love. <laughs> anyway, I've been dribbling on for 9 minutes, 13 seconds now, so that's me done. This will probably take another 18 hours to upload, thanks to our Liberal government and their crappy internet, because I refuse to put on the MBN for us. <sighs> Governments, man, I hate them. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow again. Bye.